Welcome to Sweden, home of ABBA, IKEA and little old me, Eva Berglund. As well as being the fifth happiest country on earth, Sweden is fast emerging as an international culinary destination. Once viewed as predictable, Sweden's food scene is now undergoing a revolution. Swedes are again looking to their own vast and varied landscape to craft their menu. If you had to choose one dish to symbolize Sweden, what would that be? Harry. Reindeer stew. Pancakes. Potatoes. Surstrom. Shotbollar or lingo sylt. That's a strong one. From reindeer to rotten fish, I'm going on a journey around my country to explore the dishes that define our nation and to see how a fresh culinary approach, new Nordic cuisine, is shaping our future. <laughs> I can't hold it here. You're scaring me. This is the Munchies Guide to Sweden. Welcome to Gothenburg, Sweden's fish capital and home to the largest port in Scandinavia. Residents are proud of their claim to having the best seafood in the country as they get it 24 hours before Stockholm. I had to try it, so my first stop was Feskeshirka, or fish church in English, Gothenburg's famous fish market where I met Johan, owner of restaurant Gabriel, to put together a typical Swedish smorgasbord. Ah, there you are. Hello, lady. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? All good? Good, good. Welcome. This is a nice place, huh? Yeah, it is. Let's do some shopping. Restaurant Gabriel is an institution in Gothenburg, having been there for 30 years. And Chef Johan knows everything there is to know about seafood. With this smorgasbord, you want to keep everything as fresh as you can. So it needs to basically be picked out of the sea and into your mouth hole. Of course. So what are we getting from here then? I think we start with, uh, with herring, mustard herring. Classic. Pickle herring. Before you eat herring, you drink snaps. So herring, basically, we only have it for, for, for the possibility to drink, get drunk. What about the shrimps? Are we getting the smoked ones? I like the smoked ones. Smoked shrimps, I only eat smoked shrimps outside where they smoke them. I never, never buy Would smoked. you have them in Stockholm? I wouldn't. No, I guess so. I wouldn't have any <laughs> shellfish in Stockholm. <laughs> That's fair enough. The roe is, is lovely. So it you is. put your finger like this, take the roe off. Can I get that? No. It's for me. Cheers. Cheers. Beautiful crayfishes. Look at these beauties. <gasps> these are the saltwater crayfish. Now it's easy to see the difference between uh, male and female because the female has roe, obviously. That's but a weird colored roe. Yeah, it is. It's green from the beginning. It looks poisonous. We're getting mussels from the cute Swedish girls. That was his saying, not mine. Yeah, go for that one. For me, this is a very Gothenburg thing. The blue mussels. The blue mussels. Yeah. Swedish lobster, 7.95 kilo. Is there any difference between Swedish lobsters and, I don't know, American? Swedish lobster is, is much more tender. You would say that, wouldn't you, Swedish guy? I would. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, smorgasbord almost done. Let's get started, huh? Where do we start? We have we loads, start to loads of things. Start with the crayfish, the, the live ones, because we're going to grill those. We're going to kill a couple. So I show you how to do the first one. Yeah. And you doing the second one. Right. Okay. Right. They're alive now, so so we need to do this quick. Yeah, kill them quick. Kill yeah. them quick. So just point at a knife between the claws and yeah. quick. Down, go back over the belly. Oh, but he's he's sort of doing this. Is he dead then? He's dead now. I gu okay. guarantee. He's right. split in half. So yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> crack it open. Crack it open like this. We need to get rid of the of the. Of the what is it? The anal string, where the poop is. That's what it is. Yeah. So my turn. Good bye, little lady. Straight down, quick. There you go. There you go. Oh, man. That way? Yeah, in the middle. And... No, 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 no. Take ah, it easy, take pushing it easy, take it. it easy. Yeah. There you go. Wasn't perfect, huh? Almost. Not the first time, huh? Poo string. No string. There's no poo string? No. Females don't have a poo string? I knew that! I knew it! So we prepare these easy. Salt. Simple, okay. Black pepper. Oh, he's moving, huh? This is 
basically just garlic and oil. Honestly, mixed, man, mixed buddy, I don't think mine's dead. She is. Oh, what's that? Butter, whipped butter. Oh. Put that one up in the grill. Ah! Oh, shit, I fucked up. You know what? Fucked it up. Oh, the claw got stuck on the thing, so there's butter all over the place. Oh, never mind. It's all good. Take two. I'm watching the claws this time. Oh, ah. We'll let it be there for okay. three, two, three, four minutes. Mine is still moving in there. Look at her. She's like twitching. Just died. Okay. So we put just the lobster, pickle herring. Perfect. How's that working for you? Okay, That's good. Working good. Salmon. Shrimps. Nice little caskets. You need to check your uh, your crayfishes. And they have a nice like brown they done. color. They're done. They're done. Oh, beauties. Yeah, those look great. Put those over here. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Looks good, huh? Yeah, it's great. So, what do you say? We start with okay. herring and the schnapps. Herring and schnapps. Before you have the herring, you need to have the schnapps. And before you have the schnapps... We need to sing. We need to sing. And then some herring with that. Mm. Mm. Why do you think, Johan, that smorgasbord has become this sort of like export that you can get all over the world? It's, it's a nice way of eating. It's like the Swedish tapas kind, mm. of, oh, yeah. kind of thing. It's friendly. You know, you eat together, you eat just from a, from a platter. Uh, it's super nice. Yeah. I love this. I love this. So, I think for smorgasbord you should come to Gothenburg. They pick the stuff out of the sea, jank it on the table, just eat it fresh. After eating half the ocean of fresh fish, I found a secluded spot to try something that people might think is pretty gross, but it's traditional in Sweden. So, this is Seuss drumming. It's fermented herring. You make it by putting herring into a barrel, leave it there for six to eight weeks, then you put it in these cans, and you leave it for up to six months. And the fermentation process continues. This has the most putrid, gross smell of anything that we put in our mouths food-wise in the world. That's why we came to this park, to get away from, from as many people as possible. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous about this thing actually. Okay, can we just pause for one second? Because I this, can I have a smoke or something? Can we just, yeah. I really don't want to do this, really. I'm excited about tasting it. I'm not excited about opening the fucking can. It's going. It's not <coughs> oh, okay. <coughs> okay, don't do that. <coughs> oh, it gets worse. How can it get worse? <coughs> I can't hold it. <coughs> I can't hold it here. How are we going to be able to eat this? Let's go do this proper. It's some bread and some good. Ah, okay, some good stuff. Ah, ah, juice. Got juice in my hand. Eight hundred thousand cans are sold each year. Many Swedes gather for summer herring parties, where the Seuss drumming is eaten with tunbrad potato, onions, and sour cream. I think this is how they do it. I've seen it on TV. I'll try a small piece beforehand without anything, okay? Mm. Really salty, really salty. I don't think you should stand so close to the smell eating it. Okay, so potatoes, onions. All of this stuff will take the, 
the bad flavor away. That's what I hope. Some of these guys, some of this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm happy about this. Okay, let's roll it up. It's a lot of flavor. I think I got a big chunk of it. I'm not gonna finish this. With a small yearly harvest of only around 15 tons, pretty much the only place you can get a Swedish oyster is in Sweden. And it's said that the oysters from Swedish waters are the best in the world. So, I headed further north to Lysekil to catch the freshest oysters I could. Adrian? Yeah. yeah. Hi. Hi. Adrian. Hi. Hi. Lars. Trevligt, Ivar. Ivar. Welcome uh, to Lysekil. Lars has been a professional fisherman for 25 years, and Adrian has been in business with him for 8 years. Originally from Holland, his family have been in the shellfish trade for generations. I've never flown west on a segelboat, my segelboat. All right, safety first, assholes. We are right in the middle here on the oyster banks. When did you start diving for, for mussels and all? Well, it, it, it all started um, probably seven years ago. I'm at Lars and uh, we have the same passion. Shellfish is, uh, is what we're living for and uh, now my best friend. I've been in, in shellfish industry uh, all of my life. Uh, it's been around the world for me. So what's special? Why did you come back to Sweden then? Swedish seafood is better because it's, it's the colder waters. It's, it's very pure nature water and they are growing slower than in many other countries, which make the taste more tasty. So what are we gonna be doing today? We're gonna go out diving. I'm gonna put on my diving suit, and hopefully I will find some, uh, some good fresh oyster for you. All right, get in there. Get those oysters. High five. <laughs> He's not sinking. <laughs> Yeah, bye-bye, love. Get me them oysters, nice. Here he comes. Hey! Do you have some? Ooh, the laddie. Wow! Look at this. Fresh from the sea. <laughs> this is great. They're big too. This is very old. Maybe it's very old. Ten years. Ten years? Yeah. No. no, you were down there for ages. Yeah. Like an hour. An hour for just Can these? Please? What? <laughs> With our catch, we headed to an island that Lars owns to try the oysters. Det här är väldigt fint. Ja, jättefint, jättefint oyster. Ja, eller hur? Ja, väldigt vackert. Okej, okay, bra. Ja. Now we're gonna have some oysters. Adrian, kom. Vi behöver din hjälp här. Oh, look at these guys. Oh. They're like, ooh, that's a good one. Good opening and a good one. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Impressed. I'm really damn surprised myself. <laughs> All right, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> do you do this? <laughs> no, not really. No. But with you, we do. Mm. Mm. It's good. amazing good. Huh? Yeah, pure love. <laughs> pure love. <laughs> it's way chunkier. Like, there's so much more meat. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then the oysters you'll get in Stockholm. Mm -hmm. And we take it up directly from the sea now. Yeah. Fresh and very good. 
Very, very, uh, very fresh. The, the minerals and the mm. vitamins mm. And, mm. and all the things from mm. the sea is mm. it's really... Mm. It's here. Mm. Yes. It's in the taste. Right there. Mm. Oh, yeah. While we were there, Adrian also cooked up a simple mussels recipe. Got everything in there. Mussels from the sea, straight from the sea. Got some red onions, leek, garlic. White wine. Water from the sea, done. Shall we look? Yeah. <laughs> mm, super hot. Watch out, Lars. I'm so excited about this. Oh, here we go with the parsley and the fancy stuff. Can we eat? This is. Yeah, let's eat. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Simplest things, huh? The simplest things are often the best. Mm. Taste. Straight from the sea. Straight from the sea. This is the ultimate <coughs> dream. Yum. When it comes to shellfish, Sweden's long, harsh winters do have some benefits. I wanted to stay longer and eat more, but it was time to hit the road. This is totally weird. Totally weird. <laughs> this is way harder, Inga. Yes, than the small I can ones. See that. Everyone in Sweden knows that if you go to Malmo, you have to have the falafel. I like hot sauce. Yeah, I'll have some more. <laughs> if I've never had black suit, it's got blood in it. Yeah, it's just strained geese blood. Happy Morton Goose. Happy Goose, you fucker.